Morning, folks. How are y'all doing today? Uh, you know, I've had a conversation recently with uh, Wade from the Hound Recovery Systems here and uh, Hound Recovery Outdoors. Uh, I've been using their product for a number of years now. In fact, uh, I have one of the prototypes on my truck right now. And uh, what we're going to do here, this is the new, this is the new and improved version, if there is such a thing, with the triple magnets. It just came in the mail today. And so what we're going to do is uh, take, get this box open, take a look at the, take it to the new unit, and then we're going to hook it up to the truck. And from that point on, we're going to do a little testing with it right here locally. These are great people. Wade, being a houndsman himself, knows what we're up against. Sometimes in adverse conditions, he's tracking, the, and there's nothing worse than not finding your dog. So let's take a look what we got here. This is just exactly how it's going to come to you. And the new triple mag. And uh, one of the features that I like now, and that I've always liked, is this connecting unit right here. It's very difficult to hook your, your unit up if you don't have that. That little unit right there will make putting that antenna to your tracking unit an easy proposition. I'm going to take this out to the truck right now. You'll notice the triple mags, which are incredible. There's the old unit up there. Now this one comes with interchangeable parts, so every one of these parts are be able to, you could replace if you had to. What's going to happen here today is there will be a, uh, a metal piece located in the middle of the dog box for the new unit. I haven't bolted one on yet because I wasn't sure of the diameter of the triple mags. Now that I know, I'll be able to do it. One of those magnets will be reversed for shipping purposes. All you need to do is take it off and reinstall it right there. Make sure that nice and tight. Tighten that right down. Check your other connectors. Make sure that everything's nice and tight. Because the ch shipping might uh, loosen things up. You may need to put your rubber gasket back on again. That'll protect your vehicle. Nice feature. These are all replaceable. All you need to do is call them and they'll hook you right up. Get that down there, a nice little boot for the magnet so it won't scratch the finish of your truck. Nice feature. And then your horizontals are gonna be zip tied up. Need to get rid of those. Cut the little zip tie, bingo. You're almost ready to operate. Got a good long cord here. Yep. Right now. Yeah, look at that. You can't hardly pull that off your vehicle with those three magnets on there. I could use that to climb up on my roof if I need to. Okay. We got plenty of cord here. Put that right in the window. The Alpha 100, and I use the T15 collars from Garmin. Excellent products. And what we're going to do. We're going to hook the new antenna up, and you'll notice how easy it is to put on, especially if you're, I'm left-handed, so when I got that other connector on there without, without this little sleeve, it makes it very difficult for me. But with this connector, piece of cake. Love it. And what's going to happen now, once we receive a signal on the T-15s, which I'll put, uh, Put that right here for now. Let it draw a signal. And we're gonna take a ride 
and see what kind of a range we have with the uh, with the new extended range. And I'm sure it's going to be excellent because the old one was good. This one's going to be even better. Uh, stay with me, and we'll take a little ride. Clearing the old dog stats off of this unit. And this this particular 100 is earmarked only for my extended range antenna. That stays connected all the time. And then I have my second unit that I use uh, with my short to medium range antennas. And we'll mark the location. Okay. And uh, we've got a signal. So here we go. Let's have some fun. Take a ride. Beautiful day. A little breeze. Kind of warm and muggy. Dogs are up there sleeping. Take a look. Yeah, they're, they're not real happy right now because they're not going anywhere with us. So basically what's going to happen here is we're going to, on our drive track 70, which is on the dash, Okay, we're going to keep track of our unit and the range. Now right here where we are, there's a lot of rolling hills, a lot of woods. Kind of simulate the conditions that we might be into here in central Maine. Further north, foliage is a little thicker, mountains are a little steeper. One of the things about Wade, he'll be very accommodating. You get a hold of those people. And you have any questions answered, any parts you need, any service you need, he's the man. Yeah, one of the worst feelings in the world is to lose that signal on a dog or to lose that dog, the communications on that dog, it's just a terrible thing. As I've mentioned in earlier videos, I usually run, when I'm not too lazy to do it, telemetry collars in addition to the GPS collars. If you only have one, and it happens to be the Garmin, do yourself a favor and make sure you have that long range antenna from extended range. That hound recovery system is something that you will never ever regret owning. I think the last count, this is the fourth one up at camp. I can actually track dogs right from my, right from my kitchen. What's important to remember is that these are radio wave communications between uh, the dog and your handheld. The satellite system is handling the, the, the dog, but from, but from you to the collar, it's radio waves. Okay, so since that's the case, it's very important to understand that these antennas are tuned specifically for the Garmin frequencies that they accommodate. I mean, one day you just stick an antenna out there with a connector to your Garmin, but that, that wouldn't work very well. These are highly tuned pieces of equipment, and that's why you get the range that you do. Any variation in the length of that antenna would alter the radio waves, and that would in turn affect the, the, the efficiency of your antenna. We're clipping along here at three miles on rolling hills. The terrain is very rolling and uh, there's absolutely no, uh, no issues of any kind. So remember, it's line of sight communications between your handheld and the collar. And because of that, the way that these receivers interpret that signal determines the effectiveness of it. It's a beautiful day here in Maine. Wish y'all were here. Three weeks ago, I had snow at camp. Now I've got flowers growing up there. So I had to mow the lawn even. It takes away from my running time. Of course, all I'm running now are the dogs on 
gravel roads, tuning them up. I, we don't start hunting again, uh, actually serious dog training until July 1st. What I'm going to really like about that triple mag is not having to get out on a regular basis and uh, reset my antenna because it got knocked over from brush, low hanging trees, of which we've got a lot of them here, especially this spring. So, if you're hunting heavy cover, if you're driving your truck in heavy cover, the triple mag will save you. I literally, when I put it on the truck, had a difficult time just even moving it once I set it on there. Those things are on like forever. Just kidding, but they are, they are serious, they're strong. That's a great idea, great innovation. And if you happen to lose one of the horizontal prongs, not a problem, very replaceable. Everything on the antenna is replaceable. As we clipping along now, we are uh, into that five mile range. And we haven't even had a hiccup. Hope you all staying safe wherever you are. You know, there's nothing like uh, hunting for social distancing. Spend time with your dogs. Hopefully, this situation uh, has given you an opportunity to spend more time with your hounds. And hope your families are all safe. You know. What I've done here is I just shut off my handheld. I shut it off to see how quickly it would regain the signal at six and a half miles, at over six and a half miles. I shut the Garmin off, gave it a few minutes, turned it back on, and it immediately picked up the hound at six and a half, over six and a half miles, closing in on seven right now. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Yep, now here we are at uh, 7.2 miles and not a hiccup yet and uh, we're going to go down the road here a little farther and see how we come up. We maxed out on these rolling hills at about eight miles today uh, and I did switch antennas and I found that the antenna uh, that, that they did uh, up to the six mile range the old antenna worked fine but once I switched got back onto the new one I was looking at close to eight miles, 7.9 or something. And you should never be any further than that away from your hound anyway. Please look at the hound recovery uh, antenna as your next investment. It'll pay you big dividends. All right, on my original antenna, my original extended range antenna comes with the five inch magnet and it's spring loaded as you can see here. And even though it's a good magnet, I can still without an awful lot of trouble, take it off the hood of my truck. The triple mag, a little different story, comes off much more difficult. I'm gonna put Loctite on these nuts. There's three of them. I'm gonna put a little Loctite on there and then refasten them only because I'm paranoid about losing things and under severe vibration and use, that thing could come loose, but I'm going to put a little Loctite on there and that'll prevent that from happening. Just thought I'd mention that, but you see how this comes off and and then your triple mag, it would take a lot of force to release it. So just a little little thought, I'm going to do that right now, locate my Loctite and put that on each connection. Thank you for tuning into my channel. It's been a pleasure visiting with you and please subscribe to the channel. Doesn't cost anything, so hit that subscribe button and also the bell for any future updates which we have coming and we've got them coming. So thanks again and have a wonderful day and a safe day. That's important.